Well, away, it is Thursday. So like we've been doing on Thursdays, we leave the intensity entirely in your hands. We're going to write down today's session as max effort. Uh, your max effort today, because you've had a stressful week, could be five reps. Your max effort, because you're feeling good, could be 20 reps. It is entirely up to you and how you are feeling on the day. So we're going to start the session off with a 20-minute EMOM. From that EMOM, we are then going to do our weekly lockdown pump. This is how the EMOM is going to work. It's going to be 20 minutes. There are four working minutes, one rest minute. In all of those working minutes, we want you to only work for 45 to a maximum of 50 seconds. The first exercise is going to be a renegade row. I'm going to show you guys with a dumbbell. If you guys are using something else, I'm going to show you a different variation as well that will work for you. So with a dumbbell, the renegade row is going to look like this. We're going to go into a push-up. We're going to come up. You're going to row your dumbbell. Then we'll change sides, and we're going to keep working for 45 seconds. If you are using an odd object, what I would recommend is that you are doing the push-up next to your odd object. So if this was a kettlebell um, or a bucket, then what I would recommend is that you do it like this. We'll do the push-up, come up, then grab your object, row, come down. And we'll keep working like that for 45 seconds. You're also more than welcome to go assisted off of your knees. That's entirely fine as well. Okay, so we're going to work like that for 45 seconds. That should be a nice, tough push and pull combination. In the second minute, we're going to turn it around. And we are going to go for max effort sit-ups. So I'm going to get my feet together, butterfly position. And my goal here is to touch the ground behind my head. I'm going to come up. And I want to touch the ground in front of my feet, making sure that my shoulders go past my hips. And again, we're working for 45 to 50 seconds. Also that, we'll go for some step-ups. We've got a box. If you guys don't have a box, a ledge, chair, whichever is going to work perfectly fine. So we'll go in the box. I'm going to hold in the farmer carry. I'm going to step up, come back down, change legs. And you can alternate your arms as you like. If you decide to alternate your arms every five reps, that is 100% up to you. And our final working minute is going to be some no push-up burpees. So again, 45 to 50 seconds. Here's where we can push the intensity and get the heart rate up. We're going to go nice and tight in the midline. Stand it up. And we'll keep working like that until the end of the minute. And then you'll have a minute to recover before we repeat exactly the same cycle for 20 minutes. That's the workout for today, guys. I think it's going to be a tough one. We'll see you afterwards for the lockdown pump. Okay, guys, our final little piece of upper body muscle fatigue. Our weekly lockdown pump is going to look like this. Again, I'm using my dumbbell. If you guys are using an odd object, it's going to be exactly the same. If you're using a big odd object or a barbell, it is not going to be per arm. You can use both arms, not individually on each side. Okay, so we're going to go from 10 reps all the way down to one rep. And this is what I'm looking for. We're going for some gorilla rows. So I'm going to go into a nice strong base hinging position. And from here, I'm going to row. I'm going to do 10 rows with my right arm. Then I'm going to hold it at the top for 10 seconds. Once that is done, I'll change sides. I'm going to go directly into 10 rows. My left arm, hold for 10 seconds. Then we're going to work it down. Now I'm going for nine rows. Hold for nine seconds. Same thing on the other arm, and we're going to keep going. We'll try and finish it with perfect mechanics as quickly as possible from 10 reps all the way down to one rep. That is our lockdown pump for this week. I hope you guys had fun. We'll see you guys tomorrow.